This was a pop-up exhibit for first-year physics students, and it's all about introducing them to rare books that are related to their first-year physics classes. And that means that these are the oldest and rarest books at the Beinecke. <laughs> to be able to share that with my students and to see how excited they all were, undergraduate students, graduate students, it was just such a treat. It's a good chart. I think that these books are so important, even in 2023, for a few reasons. Number one, a lot of the things that they wrote down are still true today, and that's the amazing thing about science. Currently inventing <laughs> calculus. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. The second thing is that some of these books go into great detail about how difficult these calculations were. And those kind of feelings are the things that we also feel as researchers and scientists. And so giving students that connection, it's just such an amazing link to the past and makes these books really relevant, not only from the historical point of view, but from a cultural, scientific point of view. These are their academic ancestors. For me, that's the most important thing is saying that these really famous scientists that are elevated were clearly brilliant people, but they're still just people. And the books themselves have such interesting character. There's other people that wrote in the margins, and really just the sense of holding a piece of history in your hand. It was really incredible.